Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Chico Veneman. And I'm Herman Turner. And you are watching the EFF Zone. What's up, everybody? This is Chico Veneman. And I'm Herman Turner. Yes, yes. It's a little different today. I'm special hosting. Uh, Vlad had to go out of the country. Uh, he'll be in here next week. Uh, but basically, uh, we're going to talk about what happened in week one. Week one. Amazing start. What amazing, do you think? amazing week one. We had some very exciting ball games. Started off with starts off with Mandel has a team in the league. Man exactly. down, Mandel is now man up, Mandel. I have to say, Sue, Mandel picked a good team, man. They played a very good ball game Monday. Yeah. I happened to show up and was able to catch some of the game. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see it. Oh, cause oh, cause ref soup. I know y'all soups out there. So I, you know, yeah. I go on the cut. So we we'll talk about that later. But right. man, I checked out some of the game. Mandel has a nice little squad. Yeah. Nice squad. Nice squad. Yeah. Tone down some of that. Hollered at them real tough. Mm. And they won't make some of them disastrous plays at the end of the game. Mm. So they would have left with a tie instead of a loss. Word is is that Mandel had a couple of receptions. A pick. And he scored a touchdown. Actually, he scored two touchdowns, but one was taken away by Ref Soup, who said there was a penalty called by Vlad. Yeah, um, the Soup guy, the Vlad guy, good ball game. It was a good ball game. Okay, we'll, get, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, yeah, man, they said that the that, that quarterback, man, there has a young quarterback out there, said he was scrambling well. Uh, said that his team, he has one of his defense coordinators, uh, I forgot the brother's name, but he has, he has dreads, they call him Dread. Dread. Yeah, he has a lot of dreads, dread. they, yeah, call, him dread. they right. call him Dread. And, uh, they said that, uh, that Mandel was able to communicate with all his players, not yelling at them, which is a tactic that anybody that knows Mandel, they know that he yells and stuff, but it, that's just he his tried. passion. He did, he, he got a little wild. I truthfully, just, just my, my personal opinion... I think he started his quarterback a little bit, and I think that's why that that that, that game-ending play went the way that it did. I thought he was playing a lot of different opponents in just in a few little seconds. So how was Terror Squad? I mean, the word is is that Mandel's team was winning. They were winning at first, then Terror Squad Terror Squad scored, tied up with them, and then it was a back and forth scoring thing, and then they were tied up to the end of the game. Three seconds left, Mandel team got the ball, quarterback, deep, uh, Terror Squad's D-line comes in and attacks, the quarterback runs backwards and drops the ball in the end, not drops the ball, he gets uh, sacked in the end zone. Safety, game over. You were there, what happened? That's exactly what happened. Um, inexperience, only inexperience is what Mandel lost to, I do believe. One year in the league, and this say would be his second year with that exact team. They might have won yet. They might have won Saturday, probably about a couple touchdowns. Wow. So are you saying that Terror Squad just ain't doing it anymore? I'm not really saying that. I do believe that because it was Mandel and Mandel's team, they were caught off guard with good play, with productive play, constructive play also. Um, Mandel, yeah, he did a little hollering, a little yelling, but he didn't do as much as usual. And other than that one play, other than that one play, it kind of worked in his favor. His team was, was responding to him. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So football is a yelling sport. Sometimes you yell, sometimes you don't. Some coaches yell, some coaches don't. Mm -hmm. um, I just do believe that Saturday, only that play kind of worked in his best interest. But up until that last play, I just think maybe the weight um, of everything on that new quarterback, because Tier Squad is a veteran team, so mm -hmm. they kind of know what to do. I just kind of felt the weight of the inexperience in the EFF uh, league was what cost them the game. They should have left with a tie, no, no less than a tie this Saturday. Wow. So is it safe to say that Terror Squad might be, you know, a little slacky in the build in the beginning, or maybe this is just, you know, they just getting over the break, and you know, cats just trying to I figure out these new teams. I, I first week maybe out of town. Prior commitments, I don't know. Um, I've seen somebody quarterback, but I've never seen quarterback in my life. Any for a terror squad? For a terror squad, yeah. Um, um, what's my name? Um, did it come to me? But I've never seen him uh, 
quarterback. He didn't do a bad job now. I'm not saying he didn't do a bad job. He did a fairly really? decent job. But he's always played D. I've always known him to play D. I'm going to tell you his name later. Oh, you're talking, talking about Spanish Assassin. Spanish Assassin. Yeah, yeah you're yes, talking yes, about Spanish yes, Assassin. Spanish yeah, Spanish yeah. Spanish yeah. Dominican. Yes. Dominican. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. he, um, he uh, didn't do a bad job. Did a fairly well job. Did a well enough job where he wouldn't, I don't see him not staying. But for him on the first game to be there like that, that also plays into the big picture too. Right, you know right, right. You only had Troy, your country wasn't there, if I'm not mistaken. Some and their the captain line, wasn't there. The captain was saying right. wasn't there. A um, few other guys, I know Marvin showed up late. So mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff plays into it too because with the I experience to the inexperience of uh, Mandel's team, they should also win Saturday by a couple of touchdowns. So they should have been predicting it. They went in. But like I said, I don't think their full team was here. His first game of the season also. So, mm. But there you have it. First game, Terror Squad defeats Mandel's team by a safety. Now, moving on. New team, Downtown Pros, Captain Dwayne Roxborough, and the Phoenix Rising, returning team from the dead, Streets Finest, ran by Sammy the Face Johnson. Sue, what did you think about that game? Uh, for Sammy to have his team back after maybe a two-season hiatus, maybe? It was like two, yeah, two seasons. Two seasons. Um, be fair to the league, to be fair in my comments, to be fair to my opinions. I don't think that was a, a game that you can judge if they're ready or not. Mm -hmm. Just to be honest. I think Dwayne Roxbury, no disrespect to his team, very good team. Uh, all a lot of guys showed up. It's a lot to learn in the EFF that they need to learn to understand and how things work. One thing, fellas, you know, from just my from my history uh, with the league, you know, um, the quarterback, the quarterback position has to be established. Not just you don't want a quarterback today, but it has to be established. And everybody has to have some type of uh, chemistry with the quarterback. Yeah, they said that Dwayne started, who's, who's basically only played the, the role line. of lineman and maybe a couple of DB positions. You know, he played quarterback. Yeah, that was that was that's kind of like Albert Hainsworth going behind. The center, and it's like he's gonna throw a 70 yard bomb on point <laughs> out of the option and then wow. run like Vic. Right. Wow. You know, you, wow. <laughs> you wanna. It's just, it, it was wow. the wrong shooter. It was just the wrong one. So, yeah, yeah. You know, I think uh, if he's watching, when he does watch, go to the drawing board because your team is thick. Um, from when I was there watching, I seen a quarterback out there mm. on his team. Say no names, I won't put nothing out there, but I seen somebody who formed his. Worthy of giving a shot. You know, so right, right, right. I just think it's, in all due respect to the league, though, for Sammy bringing his team back, like I said, the two-year hiatus, I just don't think that was a game we can um, get a good uh, good notion of what we're looking at with Sammy's team. Mm. Because Sammy has, has talent, you know, always. He, he's always. a talented player. Yes, yes. 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 Cousin Tyron is a talented player. Uh, Tyree. Uh, Tyree, Tyree, I'm yeah. sorry. Um, I know we got a couple of guys came back that went to what Empire State, I believe, and came back. Uh, no, uh, no, they were in uh, SOA. SOA, I'm SOA, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, uh, used to be SOA, okay. it was now unformed, and uh, we will get on that later on. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, Empire State did take some of the street's finest players, and apparently not all of them left. Ah, uh, okay, so I... I have to probably go over the roster, because I was looking at some faces, I just didn't really understand. I was even looking at Dwayne. I seen. I thought I seen two on Dwayne's team. Oh no! And it's funny that you said that. Yeah, yeah. After these messages, we will be returning with Maurice, aka Toon Hinton, who will be a special guest on the EFF Zone. I'm Chico Benjamin, and I'm Herman Turner, and we'll be right back after these messages. Oh. oh. Yeah, they hate, but they broke them. They broke them. And when it's time to pop, they had no shit. Yeah, I'm pretty, but I'm low, girl. The loud got me moving slow mo. Hey, yo, Tweety, where the hoes, bro? Hey, yo, Keys, where the hoes, though? That other nigga, he a bozo. It's a man, you don't know. Welcome back to the EFF Zone. It's your boy Chico. And I'm Harvey. Yes, yes. Later on in the um, interview, we're going to have again Maurice, aka Toon Hinton. We'll be a special guest on the EFF zone. So now, let's get back into game three. Game three, 
Skywalkers vs. Outlaws. Sue. The score was 28-6. What happened? Bees that way sometimes. Bees that way. Um, from, what, from, from, from what I've seen, Outlaws need to make a few changes. I just don't know what. Good team, good ball club. Chet dropped some balls. Four interceptions thrown. Mm. Um, gave up like three or four touchdowns, I think, wow. on the defense. First week. Uh, you know, Super Bowl final finalist returning team. Yeah, so. that's kind of shocking for a team that went to the Super Bowl, that played this same team in the Super Bowl, come back and play not so Super Bowl ish. I mean, does is Outlaws kind of like? Drying out, like what's going on? Like I'm, I'm used to them banging out. I mean, Marquise Powell, they got Tony Bray. Well, that's what uh, they got. Chacon, they got Ronald Jean, who's on yeah. the injured list. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how do they get blowed out like that by a team they play so much. Well, you know what, Chico? I think that's what makes the EFFL league so special and likens itself to the NFL. Mm. Just the Denver Broncos and what Carolina Panthers mm -hmm. go to the Super Bowl, right? Mm -hmm. And then on the first week of the next year's league, they play on the first week. And Denver not only wins the Super Bowl, but they win the first week with a different quarterback. Wow. Wow. EFF, the Super Bowl, is Skywalkers and Outlaws. Right. Skywalkers win the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. First week of the season, keep it intrigued, Skywalkers and Outlaws. First week of the season, again, repeat itself, Skywalkers beat Outlaws. Some cases, your number could be just, just guy. Is the Skywalkers a better team, or Outlaws just falling in the ranks of the lower, as I would say, the lowest teams in the league that I have to be fair to the league, have to be fair to the Outlaws. Starting quarterback, which was Sedell, um, he wasn't there at his second string quarterback. Mm. That take that into consideration. Ronald Jean, which is a big force on rushing yards, you know, big force on special teams, mm -hmm. injured list, calling plays from his body. Mm. I don't know what Chet did this summer, but I know he works, coaches with receivers, he does a lot of stuff on the side with the kids, mm. drops a lot of balls. You know Check. I mean, a lot of people are saying that he drops a lot of balls and. It's kind of, you know, he's not... A regular thing now. It's, yeah, what's going on, Check? What's going on? Ronald Jean. Injured list. Uh, he had surgery. Um, but I give it to him. He's loyal. He comes out there and, you know, he backs his team up. Uh, Marquise Powell. Ball. The ball's not coming to him like it used to back in the day. What's going on? I mean, are they sleeping on him? Do you think Maurice is not the same Maurice Powell? I mean, a lot of talk on the sidelines that uh, he's not fast like he used to be. They say, uh, no, no, I, is I this true? I disagree. I disagree. Uh, because uh, I, I know he's a great athlete. I know he's a great athlete. But not a lot of people feel that. And I feel like it's not fair that he doesn't know this. What are your thoughts? Enough said. Uh, we're going to move on to the next game. Onyx versus the number one every season untouchables who get bumped out <laughs> in the playoffs. <laughs> but uh, I digress. Uh, word is that uh, untouchables, they uh, came in and blew out Onyx. 38-0, the highest scoring team in week one. That was expected. Um, Onyx usually starts off slow. Mm -hmm. The last couple of seasons ends kind of slow. Um, Untouchables is a very aggressive team offensively and defensively. Greg Ellis is a starting quarterback for Onyx, mm -hmm. and he's on an injured list. Yes, yes. That means something. We was... Last year we were seeing a difference in the team, even though that the win-loss column didn't really speak too too different. 
we were seeing changes. All of a sudden, we have an injured Greg Ellis. It's a dynamic on the team that has changed. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, man. You, you, you're more affiliated with Onyx than I am. What are your thoughts? What are your uh, insights? I'm going to say this. Onyx is uh, always the underdog. You know, everybody loves to uh, hate the underdog, especially when, you know, Captain uh, Chico Venom. And uh, they, they just love to attack, you know, me. But uh, I love it, though. I love it, though, because, you know, I'm all about guys showing up. And I would have to say last season, it was, it was lack thereof. You know, key players that I didn't replace um, were just not showing up. And the core loyal guys that were showing up, man, they played their heart out. They did the best they could. And, um, you know, that's all I ask. And, uh, but this season, we, we kind of revamped, you know, some of the other guys, uh, like D-Way, uh, Devon Dobby, uh, went to uh, Dream Forever, another new uh, team that's uh, added to the EFF League. Uh, Flash also went to the Super Bowl champion uh, Skywalkers. Um, and everybody else pretty much stayed. Um, but again, as I say, you know, I like the fact we went against the Untouchables because, because of the fact that we have a new team, I felt like it's a wake up mm. to welcome to the league. This is the kind of speed you're going to have to deal with and the kind of aggressiveness you're going to have to deal with. I feel that Untouchables are one of the better teams in the league. Uh, I believe that they have the best. D line, in my opinion, they have the best D line. Uh, and that's Wim McElhoney and uh, Levante Fullwood, and uh, I don't know the other guy's name. Uh, there's a couple of them. There's mm -hmm. a tall guy, number 19, mm -hmm. and it's another guy. Uh, I don't have their names, but they're very aggressive. And uh, Onyx, we picked up Sergio, who actually used to be a quarterback for the Untouchables. Yes, yes. And Greg uh, mm -hmm. Ellis told me, you know, we should get with someone that's more organized and, you know, that can fill in his spot as close as possible. And Serge is a, is a great quarterback. Uh, Onyx, we just got to get our line tight uh, to be able to defend our and protect our quarterback. Give him some more time. Um, and like I said, you know, we're a new team. It's just about 80% guys are new. We got Jose Ramos back, uh, who was formerly with SOA, who used to be with... Uh, X-Men, who now we are called Onyx, he came back and then, you know, it's great to have Jose back. He's such a great addition to the team. Now we're on to game five. Empire State versus new team. Aces, Captain Rob, a.k.a. Casanova Jones, who was formerly a part of Empire State. Rob said, uh, I'm a leader, Cheek. I'm not a follower. You know, I don't call nobody that. I'm up out of here. I got my two chips with them. I helped them get there. It's time I get my own. And he did that. What are your thoughts? Just had to take the lumps for the first week, or the first time, or the first day in the EFFL. Mm, so, word is he got blew out. 28-0. Yeah. Didn't see no parts of the end zone. Um, mm. I don't think that's going to take anything away from their success in the league. Uh, but I just think the first week would we probably just lesson that they need to learn. Mm. That's just what I feel. Um, uh, Rob, I would have to say is an all-around athlete. Uh, other than his faults with his verbal on the field, Rob is a really good football player. I can't take it away, man. He, he goes hard. He's passionate. He's always been a passionate player. And I think a lot of times his passion just overwhelms mm -hmm. himself and just becomes verbally on the field. Uh, but you know, it's football. Everybody get on the field, talk smack. You know, it, it is what it is. But uh, it seemed the smack talking only works when you're winning. Tracy Dukes, who's your daddy, spanked that ass 28 zip. What do you say about that? Like, is it, is it, does it mean that it's kind of aces? Or a lesser team than Empire State, or maybe you know they just a new team and Tracy was supposed to win. New team, Tracy's supposed to win. 
point blank. Hmm. You can't have a, a team that's won two Super Bowls in the league welcome a new form team into a league hmm. and they take a loss. Now that has happened. You know, Hollywood did that when they first came into the league. Hmm. Their first very they, they didn't lose. Their very first game, very first They were undefeated. They went undefeated all the way to the playoffs. All the way to the playoffs. Yeah. They beat everybody. everybody. So until twice. They, yeah. 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 So um, that has happened. But Oh correction, because we will be marked on this. They tied Skywalkers. They beat everybody in the league, but they tied Skywalkers, and then they pretty much had a tiebreaker when they played each other again uh, before the playoffs, yeah. and Skywalkers won. He's absolutely correct. Um, but in Rob's case, um, I just think it was supposed to happen. I think Rob understands that as an athlete, football player, now owner of a team. Um, I think he's going to bounce back. His team is not shabby at all. I think he's going to have an okay season, me personally. Yeah, I mean, he got some young guys like himself. Mm -hmm. uh, they all played their game. They was able to deal with the verbals coming from Tracy, who was also mm -hmm. a verbal assassin. Mm -hmm. uh, but he acquired Big Black. They used to play with Smitty and La Familia, then transitions to the Savages, and then Tracy did his uh, GM thing, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. wined and dined him in. Got him to come on over to the Empire State franchise. So, uh, what do you think about that? That line looks serious now with the Scanlon brothers and him, and with the Hines brothers too. I guess that's probably why you have GM of the Year awards. Mm. That's what the good GMs do. I don't know if I'm going to give him the GM of the Year. We're going to talk further about that. I just say I would. I just said that's why you have the award, though. For just GM. You say he's a contender. Yeah, that was them definitely. Moves. Them moves. I, yeah. don't, I don't know no better moves. Uh, I don't know better moves made in all season like that mm. that I can think of. Uh, game of the week that, in my opinion, game six, Hollywood versus new franchise team in the EFF League, Dream Forever. Captain Smack, formerly receiver for Team Hollywood. Uh, a little personal thing happened uh, at the end of the season uh, where these guys went their separate ways. Uh, we're not going to get into it exactly in detail, but they, they, they went separate ways. So this game was kind of personal. It was bigger than the EFF League. It was yeah, more... It was kind of big. It was kind of big because big. these guys grew up together. They were like, you know, they like brothers. And whatever happened in, in the off season. It was a very sensitive situation. And these guys, and I'm telling you, I spoke to both Dominic Willis, captain of uh, Hollywood, and Smack, who's captain Dreaming. They both look forward to getting back, to playing each other. And I have to say, general manager of the year for this season, to me, would have to go to Dominic Willis, hands down, who acquired not only one, not only two, but the whole Savages team. JD, Rob McFly, Elliot, they, they all came and merged with Hollywood. Hollywood had about 38 guys out there. 38, it's a 9 on 9 league. He had about 38 guys out there and they were ready for war. And war is what they gave us. So what you're saying is Hollywood put Drake Feather to sleep? Pretty much. I mean, no those couldn't say. NyQuil was definitely in the building. Uh, not saying that Dream Forever didn't play a good game, but they weren't ready for a, a very vicious Hollywood. So you you got to also realize that not only did Schmack go and lead the team and create his own team, he took a couple of guys with him from the other state. Mm, oh, yes, that's right. He acquired Ray Mike Gross. Mike Gross. Ray Ray J5, who used to be on Skywalkers, left and came back with Smack. Said, yo, I got my chip with Skywalkers. I'm back with you, bro. Let's get it. They didn't get it. It didn't happen. Hollywood made a point that was very much heard. They gave him a donut. Uh, the score was 28 to 0. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They scored at the end. 
they actually got a point in at the last minute. Uh, the refs and the players had a disagreement. Um, you know, another situation with these refs. You know, but it was a, it was a it was a tough call. It was a tough call, but the refs awarded the uh, touchdown to Dreams Forever. Uh, I spoke to Pop and um, from uh, Team Hollywood, who's like the father, the overseer of the team, and this is what he had to say. See, it ain't that we got no hate for nobody in front of us. We just got a lot of love for the motherfuckers behind us. Mm. It's like that kind of motherfucker party. Mm. You know, we always dangerous. Motherfuckers be talking that shit. I'm like, look, motherfucker, this is Hollywood. Uh -huh. You know, we always dangerous. Uh -huh. Motherfuckers sh snake share their skin, but they don't never share their motherfucking poison. Ooh. We always dangerous. Like, you ain't got to tell a motherfucker a line is dangerous. Ooh. Well, there you had it. I mean, <laughs> pop don't hold nothing back. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So, with that being said, all I got to say is, listen, it's week one. We got 16 weeks to go. There's only going to be one champion. 12 teams ready and willing to go to war every week. But you never know. Anything can happen on any given Saturday in the EFF League. What you think, Sue? You know how it is. You know how to say it goes. You never know who's going to come out on top. You never do. And as long as we get the highlights, you will get the answers. I'm Chico Benjamin. I'm Herman Turner. And you are watching the EFF Zone. Welcome back to the EFF Zone. I'm your boy Chico Benjamin, uh, standing in for Vlad Lewis saying, I'm here with the man, Maurice, a.k.a. Toon Hinton. What's up, man? What's up, Chico? All right. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Maurice, yes, sir. week one, man, what you think? How'd you think everybody turned out? Um, it was good. It was great to be back, seeing the family and the friends. and um, It just proved that the EFF is the best league in California mm -hmm. on the West Coast period. Most definitely, most definitely. All right, let's get right into it, man. Uh, right. SOA. Yes. What happened? I mean, big merge two seasons ago. Made a lot of noise. A lot of people had a lot of expectations. Uh, Demo Crew, uh, White Shadow, and uh, Streets Finest, who had a championship. Sammy Johnson felt, why not merge and be an arsenal out there? A lot of pictures painted. Didn't happen. You got a clue us in, man, what's going on? I mean, Detroit got married, fell in love. We don't see him no more. Uh, you know, congratulations. We all about love in this league. Uh, but some are saying that since he got married, the uh, athleticism left. He divorced football. <laughs> What's going on? I think in the Detroit case, his heart hasn't been in football in the last two, three seasons. Mm. I think the merger was more for him to hide behind the real football players. Interesting. And not calling Detroit not a real football player. I'm just, we know we all get old. No one beats Father Tom. He's undefeated. Mm. And I think that him falling off a little bit, this merger was so every Sammy, my favorite player, my personal favorite player in it, EFF. Mm -hmm. um, it was for him to like step up to the front, um, front. And even though Detroit was the captain, he wasn't the on field leader that, mm -hmm. that the SOA needed. And it really wasn't a three team merger, it was really a two team merger because Demo Crew wasn't there. It was only Detroit and probably Mike James from the Demo Crew. And, and um, White Shadow, I I think I played with them maybe one week. Mm. Yabu Ponte Assassin got hurt and he just was like he bowed bowed out. Wow. So Wow, Evan. Wow, and he's supposed to be like a real football player. Yeah, overseas, I think he's like a big name, but I that proves that the EFF is real. Because uh, this is flag, but people do get hurt, people mm. do get hit. Mm. I had a conflict with Bear, I think, or whatever the guy's name is, a couple seasons back. Terror Squad. Yeah, Terror Squad, there. Yeah. Well, I got tackled. Wow, and <laughs> I remembered it was something about you told me to get that. What I, was that? I, I don't know what that was, but I, I think I lost my cool a little bit. But mm. it just proves that the EFF is real of real, um, full of real athletes mm -hmm. that are real football players. That's right. So, um, Yabu bailed out. And, um, Detroit was the leader that I think we needed him and I expected him to be. And um, that was it. That was, it was pretty much the end of the merger before it even started. Wow. I mean, you guys, it was a big hype, man. You had Chris Cupulis as quarterback. 
Mike James as quarterback, formerly on Onyx, was a receiver, mm -hmm. went over to SOA, guaranteed quarterback spot. Yes. Uh, no captain. No captain. Everybody kind of did their own thing. Uh, no QB really either because, like you said, we had Mike James. Mm -hmm. He was guaranteed QB. We also had Chris who was guaranteed QB. And White Shadow had, uh, I don't know his name. He oh, like, Jesus. We yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was like Thor. Uh -huh. But he was guaranteed QB. So it was a lot of mixed matching and receivers wasn't feeling hungry. Um, but, I mean, I mean, receivers was hungry because they wasn't getting fed. Mm. Not me personally because I kept my mouth shut. I mean, I got angry, best passion, but I never really cried for the ball. It was all mm. about winning when I was with SOA. I went over there to join two of my closest friends in Jose and um, Detroit, and I kind of wish I did. Wow. Wow. I mean, but, but arguably, people say Toon cries a lot. Toon cries for the ball. He quits when he doesn't get his way. Um, he's not dependable. And this is just a way of you venting because you're a little mad. Well, the thing about me, um, I'm a loyal person. I was there every week. Where regardless of what team I was on, I was there every week. Um, mm -hmm. But you can say the same thing about Tracy crying too much or, mm -hmm. or, or Rob crying too much. We're all passionate people in Again, they're in my top, those two names I named, they're in my top five of my favorite players in the league. Interesting. So if you're saying that I cry too much because I want what's best for the team, mm -hmm. then I guess I cry too much. It mm -hmm. is what it is. But it wasn't a good situation for myself, and I'm not the only one that felt that way about it. For, for example, we were supposed to be a family over at SOA. Mm -hmm. No one was really told about SOA being broken apart. We had to find out from a uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up. So, family yes. usually communicate. Yes. Nobody communicated over the break. I I talk with Jose because Jose's on my basketball team and he's one of my off-field friends. And I talked to Detroit, but and I was at Detroit's house a bunch of times. Um, again, congratulations, he got married, and um, this was around the time he was getting married and going on honeymoon, and nothing was brought up about them breaking up, us breaking up. Wow. Not so you, other players was calling me, and I'm not a captain. Wow. Players from the team was calling me. I'm not gonna say no names, but I got at least six to seven phone calls asking, "Are we coming back next season?" Wow. So basically, you would like to say, you can't really blame anybody because there was no captain. Anymore. There was no captain. Was so no captain. you were bamboozled in other words. <laughs> I was promised a family. One of the teams that I look up to the most, and I have told this this guy. In t um, numerous occasions, is Tracy's Empire State because he builds. He's probably the best GM in the league because he builds. And even no matter how good you are, Rob, he will still let cut his ties with you if you don't fit the mold of the team. Mm -hmm. And I respect that because mm -hmm. Rob is a hell of a player. He's he doesn't get enough love or respect in the league. He's top five easily, mm -hmm. all around player. But he wasn't fitting in with Empire, and Tracy said, you know what, we got to go in a different direction. Not because of your skill, but because of your attitude, you don't fit that. And I respect that about Tracy. And I thought I was going into a team situation with that with SOA. Mm. But no, it was no team. It was just a bunch of friends or homeboys or whatever you want to call it. Wow. Just out there playing pickup football. Wow. 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 Man, this is interesting because three teams merged. Yes. And... No one knew what was going on as a team on and off the field? I didn't even know who was showing up after the time. Wow. Wow. SOA. Sons of America? The name doesn't fit. And right now, if SOA was in the league, we'd all be probably taking a knee. Not standing for me. <laughs> uh, Toon. Yes, sir. Where do you go from here? I mean... Jose Ramos, Onyx, we acquired him back. Yes. Uh, Chris Cupulis, no longer here, busy working. Uh, Detroit, some say divorced the league when he got married. Uh, Johnny, over at Empire yeah, State. Was, Johnny Rocket. That was the biggest pickup. Empire yeah. State. Um, 
Seems like everybody had plans yeah. and didn't fill you in. <laughs> You're here today to say you have a get back. Basically, to let them know what they had yeah. and they didn't utilize. Uh, where do you go from here? I thought about retirement because I saw a Drew um, uh, EFF. Uh, um, alumni and who's a first ballot hall of fame. Uh, he he retired and um, shout out to Drew. Yes, but, Drew um, Drew Drew's bike uh, retired. Yes, and he's hung up in his jersey. We're gonna have a ceremony with his jersey uh, probably uh, this Saturday. We're gonna hang it up and we will be having a Hall of Fame EFF league uh, where we're gonna have greats like the OGs and. Just a lot of people that were here and no longer are now. But, uh, go on. Yeah, I, thought, I thought about retirement, but I thought, I'm too young. I'm 29. I got a lot to give. Um, I got a lot to offer. And I had a couple of teams. I'm not going to say who they are. But I had a couple of teams call me. And I, that made me feel, that made me actually want to lace back up the police because I mm -hmm. felt, I felt appreciated. And, um, wow. I felt, I, I didn't really think nobody even looked at me like that. But I had, I had, at least five teams and two of those five teams are top contenders but i only my decision was not going to a team and just jump on the bandwagon jump on the right. i did that with soa and i shouldn't have done that and um i want to go somewhere where i can contribute i actually was on streets finals a couple seasons back when we was on the nine game winning streak mm -hmm. when smitty was our qb and we was winning but i wasn't happy because i wasn't contributing it wasn't about me getting the ball i just want to be a part of a team mm -hmm. part of a family so i decided um I'm not only going to switch teams, I'm going to switch positions. I am now going to be playing for Downtown Pros as the starting QB. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. I know y'all heard what I just heard. Did you just say that you're going to be the quarterback? Yes, sir. The initials QB stands for that. <laughs> yes, sir. For Downtown Pros? Wait a minute, Dwayne Roxborough played quarterback last week, a position he should not play. No disrespect to Dwayne, just never seen a lineman play quarterback before. They have acquired you as a player, not only as a player, QB. Sir, I think the league is evolving. It's becoming, um, and that's what makes us so special because every position you have to be skilled at. Like you just can't be. Back in the day, you lineman was big and slow, but they were strong. Now linemen are fast. They're running four six, right? And Forty. And at QB, not only be able to throw, but you gotta be able to move your feet. You gotta be able to make moves. And um, I just want to thank Dwayne for giving me the opportunity for this. And um, I mean, I'm just trying to make my name in this league. I, I, there's a lot of players in this league: Batman, Marquise Powell, mm -hmm. um, Johnny White Chocolate, um, Rob Casanova, Drew Detroit, actually Chico yourself, um, and people that I, I don't really give love to, but I know that skill like um, Takeoff. Skywalk, who's mm -hmm. one of the best. Well, yeah, he, I, I must say, yes, arguably he is one yes, of the best. Yes, Takeoff is in my top five, mm -hmm. easily number two mm -hmm. on my list. And I never gave him props, so I'm now, I'm, I'm just trying to overnew you, trying to start from scratch, and um, I just want to run this QB. Uh, QB has a lot of responsibilities. Yes, yes it does. Meaning, not only do you have to lead a team to a victory, you have to deal with personalities. Yes. Guys that want the ball. Yes. Uh, if you throw a pick, you got to be able to deal with taking responsibility for the mistake, blaming the right person. Are you willing to be able to handle that? The the advantage that I got, yes, the world. The answer to the question is I am, because the advantage I got is being in this league for seven plus seasons. I watched some of the best. Yourself, mm -hmm. um, let um. Onyx, aka X Men, to three Super Bowls. I watch you. I watch um, Chris, who went from lineman to QB and was just wonderful. I went to one of my closest friends, Kenny, who was a two-time Super Bowl champion mm. at quarterback. Yes. Who was a wide receiver. Mm. Um, Debo, who was a running back, who switched to QB. Devon so, Wallace. Yeah, yes. I watched some of these QBs and I learned from them. Tuesday, personally, my favorite QB who I have seen in the league, who he's no longer with us. Who's a first um, 
Bell Hall of Famer. Definitely a Hall of Famer. Yeah, so I watch all of you and I develop. I've been watching because I've been thinking about making this move for the past couple of seasons. Mm. But I've always been on a team with a QB. But nice. now that I'm on my own team with Dwayne, mm. I thought it was this was the time to make a chance. I understand there's a lot of responsibility. Mm. Um, you have to forget the mistakes you make in order to move on mm-hmm. for greatness. And I'm willing to accept that challenge. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it first. Maurice, a.k.a. Toon, Hinton, quarterback, downtown pros. Definitely something everyone, including myself, will be looking forward to in these coming 16 weeks. You're playing Team Onyx. What a way to start off as a QB. Wow. Against a D-line that has... One of your other fellow friends, Jose Ramos, who formerly played with SOA, now back on Onyx. You look forward to this game? I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's, it couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better first game. Yes, yes. I, I must agree. I think this is going to be one of those moments where, A, you have a point to prove. Yes. Whether you win or lose, we all want to see what he can do. That, especially myself. Because that role is definitely something you can't mess around with. And just. But my question is if you don't do well and you don't bring what you feel you can, are you willing to let the ego go and pass the baton to somebody else? As hard it would, as it would be, because I'm a private person and I'm a football player, if I don't produce, I will not handicap my team. So. How many weeks we would say, if you're not doing well, by week what will you say, I'm giving it up? I think I deserve at least two to three weeks, three weeks, three games. No, you're not giving yourself enough gap. No, okay. because, I, because at the end of the day, it's about winning. Yeah, and if good. I'm not producing for us to win, I want to take a step back for someone who is better at the position. Yeah. I won't just take a step down just to give it up. Right. And you have to, and you have to show me that you're willing. You, you're capable of doing better than me. But at the same time, this is a new team. Um, we're new pieces. We're trying to gel together. So I think that um, this is all the filling out process. Nice. Well, like I said, you heard it first. Look forward to seeing Maurice Tune hinting out there throwing the rock. Will he deliver? Don't know. But there's only one way to find out. Saturday, Sepulveda the Basin Sports Complex. Game times start from 12.30, last game starts at 5.30. Whole lot of football, but guess what? 12 teams, six games, one winner. It's your boy Chico, you're watching the EFF Zone. Peace.